All right, 405th members, Ithaca once again. Uh, we are now beginning the process of our little surprise project. Uh, I took some coat hangers, some uh, standard metal coat hangers. And uh, one of the things you want to keep in mind when working with the coat hangers or anything else, uh, safety first. All right, uh, I do not have one now, but when I straighten these out, I was sure to wear gloves and uh, eye protection. All right, uh, safety first. No poking eyes out. All right. Also, I used uh, needles, pliers, and regular channel locks to uh, straighten out the coat hangers. Once the coat hangers are straightened out, then you can bend them to the angle that you want. And as you can see right here, what we started doing was you need two pieces. So you need two coat hangers. One is just about the length, uh, okay, uh, from top to bottom, and one is a little bit bigger uh, from left to right. Uh, but we can snip that down, cut it off once we have it all glued on. Uh, I have a glue gun, once again, very hot. Do not burn yourself. Uh, but you use a standard glue gun, and what we're doing now is we are creating the angle of the shield from left to right and then up and down. And that's just for the general form of the, of the uh, coating, and we'll cover it from there. So that is update number one. See you in a few minutes. Well, as you can see, we've come a little bit the way. Uh, just finishing up on some touch-ups here. Uh, what we did was we had to add some more supports to it to help keep the shape. So we added two more hangers uh, going across the uh, across the shield. And then we glued them down with uh, hot glue, of course. Uh, once I'm done, I'll take it in. I didn't really like the tip of this, uh, and of course these were too long. So in a minute, I'm going to go in and uh, dremel them off. Uh, once that's done, we pretty much have the structure that we're looking for. Be careful. Hot glue. Well, we pretty much have the structure we're looking for. All right. Let's see. You can see it's pretty solid now. It's not as flimsy as it was. And it helps keep its form the way we want it. Now, we're going to bend it a little bit more and shape it a little bit more. Uh, it doesn't dip in as far as it should up here, uh, not enough here. We're going to curve it more, okay? But now that we've got the coat hanger installed, we can now shape it. And then once it's shaped, our next step is going to be to uh, cut at least two pieces of cardboard the right length, and then start hot gluing the cardboard in to add more support to the plastic and also to cover up these coat hangers to kind of uh, touch it up a little bit. So uh, I'll see you on the next step. Welcome back once again. Uh, just a little heads up, it's going to be a long process. All right. It's been a long night, early morning, uh, a lot of hot gluing. Uh, what you're going to need, it's working so far, is you need some cardboard. All right, standard cardboard. No matter how thick it really is, as long as it keeps its form. And you're going to lay your standard piece on, and then you take smaller pieces and you're going to fill it in. Okay, there's a small gap left to fill in right in here. So you're going to fill this portion in here, and you will hot glue it. So you'll also need some good cutters, good scissors, a marker, an X Acto knife. Once again, safety first. Don't be throwing the X Acto knife, don't be cutting your friends, don't be cutting your mom, none of that crap. And, uh, be careful with the hot glue. Hot glue gets very hot. Another idea we use is a can of air. Not for huffing. All right. What you do is you take a can of air and you turn it upside down. And when you do a large amount of hot glue, instead of having to hold it and wait for it to harden, you do a little spritz and do not put it on your hands or face. Avoid it. Uh, it will cause frostbite, but uh, it will cool the hot glue very fast. Uh, that'll help speed up the process a little bit. It helps you get two people and two uh, hot glue guns. But uh, let me finish this up and uh, then we need to start thinking about our next step, which I'm not quite sure of yet, so I'll get back to you. Okay, to give you a general idea of uh, what it looks like so far, uh, the cardboard managed to help me keep uh, a really good shape to it. Um, that's the front portion of it right there. Uh, I'm going to go over here and spin it around. Um, and
and that is the back portion of it right there. It's already pretty sturdy. Uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it already, um, but it helped keep the shape, and it, it's really sturdy now. So our next step probably is going to be to design the handle, which is going to go right in here. It's probably going to be your standard, uh, your standard. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's going to be one of those handles that comes out over and then back in again, uh, just to grasp onto, uh, and it'll probably screw on from the front side. Uh, so build a brace for the front side so we can screw the, the handle in the back side. And on the front, uh, I don't have the. Yeah, here we go. Okay. See that little black piece in the center right there? Uh, my wife is going to sculpt that. Uh, and that, we're not sure exactly if we're going to we're going to mold it and then cast it. Uh, but my wife's going to sculpt that out. And that is going to go right here in the center. And that's going to cover the screws for the handle. So we'll probably design this. That, that, we'll probably design that next. So we can install it. And then I'm going to bondo, because I don't like this texture to it. So I'm, literally, I'm going to bondo all this and flatten it out. Just a, a very thin coat of bondo. Uh, so I want to make this piece first, mount it on, and then bondo it. And then probably get some uh, rubber molding to go along this edging afterwards all the way around. And as for the back side, uh, we're looking at either... Uh, we're not sure yet. Uh, it's dependent on the weight. Uh, I might bondle the back just to uh, really close all these these lines and stuff in. If not, uh, we might do like a, a tacky paper or or a butcher paper or something and cut the pattern and put it on there to cover up this this cardboard look here. Uh, so those are the plans. Let's see in a little bit.